Hello there everyone, this is Good Guy Palps and welcome to Old World. We're, today we're going to try out playing as Egypt and I wanted to go over their stats and strengths and weaknesses before we started the game and show the general setup. We are going to be Hatshepsut, a woman pharaoh. Egypt's abilities, we're going to start with 400 extra stone, which is nice, it's probably one of the most main use, mainly used resources, especially early in the game. We're going to get 40% yields from farms adjacent to rivers, so we're going to want to try and put our farms around rivers, so we're going to get a lot more food out of it. And we want to build the same improvements adjacent to each other because we have a 20, negative 25% cost modifier. We're going to start with those texts, our shrines, kind of more, those are kind of the main stuff. Our unique units are going to be these uh, chariots. And I believe this family can build units that require horses and camels or elephants without necessarily having those uh, abilities. So we want to build where we don't have uh, those units. And I, we also want to try and use this Thutmose family. I want to try and focus on a... The, the last few series have been really large empires. I want to try and see if we can win on the glorious difficulty doing a smaller, more general, well-rounded approach to the game. And so we, I really would like to try and get this family in, the Thutmose, which is going to give us science as well as plus one science per every specialist we get. Maybe in the capital that would be good. And then this would be great for a, a city where we could get a lot of combat going. We could build a lot of uh, cavalry units, even if we don't have those uh, the horses, camels, or elephants. And then we have to decide if we want landowners to give us more crops, maybe along a lot of rivers, right? We could get a lot of rivers going. Or maybe the clerics giving us uh, manage discontent, build urban improvements on sands. Maybe there's big-time desert, or if we're getting a religion. So we're going to start with that. And then we're going to play on the Magnificent. So we just played on the Gorgeous. We're going to play on the Magnificent, step it up one level, play on Seaside and Medium with the general, uh, the standard map settings on those uh, for that size of a map and difficulty. We're going to go ahead and start the game. Now, raiders are going to be very prevalent on this difficulty uh, from various tribes and stuff. I think it would be fun to try and do some tribal alliances and see if we can pull that off. All right, so we are Hatshepsut, the pharaoh of Egypt, and the divine voice of Amun. Inherited, inheriting the throne from your dead husband, you have united the tribes of Egypt to guide your people into the unknown of this world, this old world. You've used every power at your disposal to secure the throne and now look to the future. Your legacy is secured by two contenders, your daughter, Neferuri, and Thutmose, your husband's son, by the concubine, Isis. Ugh, what a slut. The existing civilizations do not yet... The husband, right? I mean, he's sleeping with around. Goodness gracious. The existing civilizations do not yet know the splendor and riches of Egypt, but they will learn. Select your settler and found your capital city. You will also decide which family manager you have. Yeah, we know, we know. So let's also take a look at this, at our family tree. So Isis and our deceased husband, who was a builder, your in-law, 32, okay and your daughter your heir yes can we tutor her no i we probably have to have a city anyways all right so we do have a river here and we have horses so because we have horses i don't think we want to settle i don't think we want to pick the these guys because they can build units that require horses camels or elephants i believe that means they can do it without those without the those units or resources there. So landowners actually kind of make sense. We get uh, plus two culture period for crop resources. Now we don't have any crop resources here unless these count as them. Um, but minus two for rural specialist production time. I think we actually want to go sages here in the capital. We're going to build a lot of specialists and among other things. Now the question is do we want to move? And I think we actually want to move right here and build on the river. We'll get access to that mine immediately as well as the other things. So we're going to move here, and then we're going to settle Sages as our capital. Let's make sure we check our stats before I click that. So plus one year per specialist, plus two civics per year, plus minus 20% urban specialist costs. So we're not going to get a lot of these benefits early, but we will over time, because we're going to put a lot of specialists in the capital. I kind of want to make it just a lot of the big urban city. right? Landowners would make sense, but I think... I think we want to go sages here. I, th I think the riders it could make sense, but we don't. We're, it's going to take time before we can get those in, those uh, the cavalry anyway. So let's go sages. Okay, navigation. Now let's use the tech tree and see what we have. We have stone cutting, we have iron working, and we have labor force. I think divination will be good. We'll start building our shrines. 
Trapping, of course, is good, and administration is great. Going towards Spoked Wheel would be good if we could. We would have to get Husbandry. I think we should grab Divination first. Since we, so that we can use our worker. That said, our farms along rivers work really well. We can make this into an urban tile. It extends the trade network. Interesting, okay. I think we want to build a mine and then come down here and build some farms. You know what, maybe we should build a farm first. Plus eight per year right now, plus 10 right here along this river because it's greener, I guess. Then we're gonna come right here and build a plus 10 farm and then we're gonna go build that mine. We started with a warrior, which is really nice. We didn't start with a, oh yeah, we did right here, okay. Now, I think I wanna come claim this immediately. Our exhibition comes on the site that looks like a ceremonial capital of some ancient world. An altar centers the court and 10 thrones sit on each side. That sounds cool. Raise the city, we could use the stone. Now we already have a ton of stone because we're Egypt. Preserve the site, learn its history. Uh, we gain wisdom. How old are we? 35, so pretty young. We're starting to host and make an offer to their gods. It becomes pious. Let's see what that does. It's, it's going to cost us a little. We get some nice traits, but it's going to cost us a little too much food. So let's take the wisdom. We also want to find our first city. Now that we've claimed that, there's definitely a city site near here. However, I'd like to follow this river to potentially stay in this little inlet area. There's also a city site right here. So we actually want to bring this scout back. We might want to harvest some of these for the end of the year. But we definitely... All right, so we can, now we can tutor our heir. Uh, we want to study, I think, philosophy. Yes, I think that's gonna make the most sense for our first beginning here. Now we could... You know what, actually, this is a city site. It should be relatively safe. Let's, let's send our scout there. Um, all right, beautiful. So because we're gonna to wanna to settle along this river, I think this might be a great place for the cavalry or potentially the landowners actually might be really good here. And with that, I'm gonna send our warrior up this way in the year. Not permitted to enter the prominent city courts, Princess Neferuri and her friends spend their days in the surrounding market with an erudite shoemaker and his group of merchant philosophers learning the skills of philosophy and debate. Okay, she becomes witty, humble, righteous, or bold. Becomes bold, giving her plus two courage. Nice. Let's move our scout first. Let's harvest the marble. All right, so we this definitely can get secure this. I think this is actually a great place for the landowners. Um, we could settle here and put a lot of farms along this river. Not to mention just a lot of farms in general with granaries in this area. That's of course, we're assuming we're not gonna do clerics. The clerics really make sense that there's a lot of desert, I feel like, which should be over here. And it's not gonna be as useful, I think. So let's come explore. I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna discover some barbarians. They're now out of orders. We have some training. We could actually appoint. Time pass quickly. Duke that most has grown up eager. All right, so he is our stepson. He's second in line. All right, so we check this. He's right here. Um, we don't have a tutor. We don't have anyone to tutor, right? So we have a small family. So let's go back to that. Let's figure out what he can learn. Let's have him study tactics so that we have a good general to put in the field. I also wouldn't mind adding a general. Can we actually appoint? No, we have to have. Must be. Must not be of a different family. Requires garrison strong or civil. Yes, that's right. Even in the capital, requires that. All right. So first up, we need to move our worker, and we're going to go build a mine. That's a really, really good mine. And then next, we only have four orders left. We want to bring our scout up this way. Let's go harvest this wheat. This will relieve us with zero orders, but we discovered that, which is good. We'll end the year. Now this is another good area. There could be a good city place right along this ocean. News has reached us that your heir, Nefuri, ignores the lessons of her philosophy masters. The court wishes to invest wisely in her, but perhaps philosophy is not her calling. Discipline is by heir, so she loses 40 opinions, Switch the heir studies to commerce. I'm actually okay with that. The tutor is the problem, not the heir. Cannot be a governor general or on the council while she's a student, right? Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't cost us anything. 
sacred tomb. Our expedition approaches an ancient monument. The structure appears to be the tomb of a great leader. And the inscription reads, Passer by whoever you may be, I was once king of kings. Grudge me not, therefore, the peace of earth becomes your body. Leave the tomb undisturbed. She becomes gracious. There be no queen but me. Destroy it. Plus two legitimacy. Plus to be their preservation rituals. Let's take the science. I think that's really powerful in the beginning. Shouts from the trees. Our men hurry towards the noise and discover an injured Assyrian lion in the dirt. His, com his companions work frantically to treat his wounds. According to their men, the caravan was transporting goods to the nearest Assyrian city when they were attacked by bandits. They managed to repel the attackers and have their cargo of fine wine. Treat his wounds and escort the caravan to a destination. They gain opinion. They negotiate the exchange for protection for goods. We lose some training when we get some gold. Not really worth it. Kill the Assyrians to steal their cargo. Minus 20 opinion. We're going to stay positive with them. They're annoyingly close. And they have a city right here, so that's not good. In fact, they are way too close. All right. All right, there is the city site we're looking for. We need to kill those barbarians and claim the city site. Now we need to choose our research. Let's take a look at this. I think we want to go husbandry. And we have cattle near us, and we want to get to spoked wheel as soon as we can. We also want to get towards sovereignty so we can get this and then enable our unique units. We also, upon completing the settler, we're going to use it to put a city there, probably the landowners, and then right here we probably build cavalry. We are going to pump out a warrior after that and then probably another settler to end the year. Ow. Okay, so we could take this fight. Let's harvest the horses. Let's harvest the elephants. Hmm. We're going to retreat out of there place where they're protected in the end of the year. I'm going to make sure we, okay, that's actually fine because we're out of range of their range. You know, one day in the train grounds, Duke thought most of us is a lame mongrel begging for scraps, takes creature into his care, and nurses him back to health. Help by following the creature never leaves his side. Okay, so he treats the dog with affection and gentleness, becomes compassionate to strength, becomes strict, uh, becomes cruel. Now let's take affection gentleness let's go here a foreign marriage to assyria a family marriage cost a lot of civics we actually kind of want to come all the way back here and heal to make sure we win that fight and now we have our settler we're going to go immediately bring them over here to get our second city founded if we take a look at them again Cities are always connected. New mounted units start with Saddleborn. You can build units for car horses, camels, or elephants. Landowners, plus two growth per plus two per crop resource. We don't really have any resources. I guess wheat's up there. That's semi close. Rural specialist. But the main thing is we could use those rural specialist production time to build some farms around here. And then. Or we just with the riders. Yeah, the clerics are not going to happen. On seat founded gain a scout. That's pretty cool. On seat founded plus two citizens. Oh, that's pretty nice. Huh. Okay, we uh, have no orders. Commerce student. Now that Princess Nefaria has completed city of her commerce, how shall she contribute to the court? Diplomat, a trustworthy and charismatic broker, a commander. Let's take the diplomat. Now, how old is she? She's 18. How can we... We don't really have a good way for her to be working yet, which would be nice. I think we need to get administration, right? Rhetoric. One of these somewhere in here unlocks. This is what I'm looking for. Chancellor. That's what I want. So we want to mark that. Go ahead and end the year. Tell from the that the marriage was for your daughter. Okay. How are we doing, by the way, on their opinion? Not great. 
Uh, that's, that's the thing. Do we want to stay internal or do we want to be like a hero? I don't know if I already want a foreign person in our in our court. And not at this time. I'd rather wait and get someone from our own families, I think. Build Shrine of Ra, plus five orders per year. Urban improvement, but build anywhere. Enables Acolyte, plus 20% for adjacent farms. So this is going to give us 20% for adjacent camps. I'm not going to have that. Um, Egyptian heals eight, six HP for idle units. That's pretty cool. Plus one per adjacent grove. Okay, so we could build it like right here eventually. Um, urban improvement, building area. adjacent mountain, plus 100% culture. Active volcano. Ooh, I like that. Like there's no active volcano, but we could just go build that like right here. Just cost a little bit of stone, but it gives us a ton of culture early. And this is just going to do, this is better for the next city. So let's go over here. And we'll the Shrine of Osiris, giving us lots and lots of culture. Let's take this settler here. Now if we settle all the way over here, we miss out on the river. But we'd get the whole ocean. I think we want to settle right here. Alternatively, I kind of want to peek right here. So we can see there's borders there too. But there's no real fish. No, I think we come back right here and we settle. We're out of order, so we have to wait till next year, unfortunately, but that's fine. An incident in the Tactics Academy requires your attention. Duke Thetmos instigated a physical confrontation with one of his drill masters, breaking the man's nose and knocking out several of his teeth. Oh, nice. Um, the military instructors seek restitution for this insult to their honor. We must pay for Thetmos to continue his training. 85 gold. Yeah, we'll pay. This difficulty is already bringing in some tougher decisions. All right, so now... Riders or landowners? I think I'm going to take landowners. Oh, this would be connected. This will not. This would be, this wouldn't be. The difference is, this is definitely going to be honey. Hmm. Harvest. Monitor temples. Rural specialist production time. New mounted units start with Saddleborn. What is Saddleborn? Plus 50% versus melee. Oh, that's cool. They gain a scout. I'd rather gain a scout up north. Let's take landowners. The Gulf of Salde. And there's some Numidians. We definitely want to come explore down here. I'm going to use the scout now. No, I'm not. Hold on. I'm going to heal this unit. I'm going to pump out a worker, put some farms down, some other improvements. I'm going to 10 turns for a settler there, 10 turns there. So upon completing this warrior, we're going to pump out a settler. We're going to use these two warriors to go claim this. We're going to come scout this out, kind of see what Assyria is up to. Let's discover all of this if we can. We have one order left, and then we'll get a scout up here, which we'll use to scout this way. For now, this, settler, this scout's going to come down here. Again, we're trying to see if we can win on a semi-small empire, but not tiny. Tactic student, now that Duke Thetmos has completed his tactics, how she could return to the court. Schemer, master of whip whispers and courtly plots. We're not going to have a spy master for a while, a tactician. That's what we want so that we can appoint him, actually, as a general. Hmm. If we appoint ourselves, nothing else that we're doing, right? We might as well. We can't add her, right? Yeah. Plus one movement, plus three percent of 
minus 10 XP, plus infantry, plus 10 XP. Yeah, we'll take this. Okay, so that's a problem. Assyria is going for that city site, so we need to go there as soon as we can. Let's bring our scout down this way. Choose ambition, control four farmer specialists. That's actually pretty easy. Discover six technologies. That's just like total in our lifetime. That's way easier. We'll do that. We're going to get one in five years. All right, so we have some movement. We have orders left over. We're going to end the year. We do want to build specialists because they give us more science. A miracle has arrived from the Thomas family for your daughter. All right. Uh, the Wanton. He's 34. He's 32. Um, charisma 6. Discipline 2. Negative 2. Wisdom 3. Discipline negative 1. Let's take the Scholar for now. Let's get this warrior up here. Attacked by a bear. Okay, so this is we're meeting Carthage. Hold on, before we just spend all our orders, they already have claimed that city site. This is a tiny map. We are having a problem. All right, so we've already lost that city site. We need to go find one over here. Let's escort the survivors here. So let's get let's keep you, let's be as friendly as we can for now, and let's bring the scout here. Husbandry will let us also start getting this, which will give us orders. Egyptian paganism was founded. As our unit approaches Persian border, they are met by armed soldiers. These men bring in a bring an aggressive message: all nations willing to treat with Persian must pay tribute. Okay, uh, refuse to pay tribute. We could pay tribute in gold. They are far away. No, they're not. They're like right next to us. We are in a tough spot here as Egypt. This map is tiny. Pay tribute in gold. We're going to do that for now to try and be on the good side. Yeah, this is. This map is very tiny. Okay, so now we got this shrine. The Staff of Ra. Um, we could actually build this. Max one per nation. Uh, gives us orders. 20% for different farms, which doesn't make sense. We could build a quarry, we could build a farm. Um, in one year, we get husbandry, so we could just come here and then build a pasture next turn, which would give us more orders. I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to move there, and I'm going to say just next turn. Is our worker done yet? Yes, he is. Let's go build this quarry. Ah, there's a lot to do in this city. That quarry is just too good to, to pass up. I'd rather just get another worker. Actually, no, we're going to get another. Let's get a warrior. Actually, let's get a Byram. Like, workers would be good. I don't know. Maybe we do want another worker. I take it back. Let's get a worker. We need so many improvements. They consume a lot of orders, though. This is the best place to get workers. We can just move them to other cities, actually. Attacked by a bear. A victim's bear attacker delivered safely to the settlement to their nation. The village leader thanks our people for their kindness, expressed a desire to cooperate further. Offer trade. Trade from Carthage, trade to Carthage. That's actually great. I think that's going to help our nation have much better a foreign marriage for uh, ourselves. Let's do that. Um, that way our heirs stay pure, but pure Egyptians but not necessarily. Come a little closer, and let's get the scout going out this way. End the year. Converted pan Egyptian paganism. A new marriage proposal from Carthage has arrived here. Clean touch up the settler. Um, minus one year to build improvements. The witty. Proud, witty. That's kind of funny. 53. Let's take the robust. Let's see the tech tree. All right, so Polis would be great. We could get, not Polis. Well, it actually would be. It has to declare war. We don't get spoked wheel. We don't get either of these. 
And we do get Aristocracy, letting us get an Ambassador, which I think is pretty a pretty big deal. Drama would be nice as it starts the music. Years to complete. Let's take Aristocracy so that we can get an Ambassador appointed to help us make sure we don't go to war or die. I'm kind of waiting to see what happens here. I'm hoping they like leave, but I'm sure that's not going to happen. Let's take this and build a pasture. Man, the, the resources here are slim, by the way, in this mode. Like we need, we need lumber. Actually, let's go here. Let's mark forestry. All right, let's take this. Start exploring. Let's harvest the salt. All right, friendly meeting from Babylon. Show them our goodwill. All right, so this is a, like the tiniest map I've ever seen in my life in this game. So we need to find whatever city spot is here and make sure we claim it. Because we are struggling. Uh, we're just going to put you to sleep for now. We're going to defend. It's a Syria that we have to worry about. And they have cities here, so we're pretty trapped in here. We might, we might have to resort to war, to be honest, just to grow, which would not be good. There we go. Let's bring this warrior, worker, warrior down there. Let's bring both of them. We've got to fight these barbarians. They're out of order, so we'll end the year. I still don't know how to compare our legitimacy to other nations. Okay, yeah, go attack their scout, not mine. I like that. Okay, in the spring, the tender flowers are in bloom, painted on with vivid pastels. All of our greatest deeds start ambition, enact epics, enact exploration. If we take a look at the epics plus 10, we want exploration. The of the site family arrive in court to make an appeal. They request that the Egyptian government adopt a new law, serfdom, that favors their interest. Make the change. Free law, serfdom. Farms and pastures get additional output. Hold on. Let's, okay, hold on. Hold the phone. There's too many things going on. Let's enact exploration, for one. And then if we take a look at this, these laws, serfdom, isn't that like way down here? serfdom or colonies all cities and pastures get 20 percent output colonies can buy tiles yeah we we want serfdom so that's great now we're hidden there in those trees which is great let's go let's hold on let's bring this unit here we now have two idle workers so let's go build these farms And this is going to 20% for adjacent farms, and we put farms all around here. Or we could actually go put it right here, have farms here, and we'd get some lumber out of it. We're out of orders, though. All right, that's that's the problem. Adjacent, adjacent, adjacent farms. We, ooh, we remove the trees. It would cost three orders to do that. Okay, that's fine. We're actually going to get another warrior here, and the reason for that is because we have Assyria. We just need some defensive units. Orders are hard to come by in the beginning. That's why getting those horses online is a big deal. Cannot let go of grievances, often the most bitter person. Okay, that's too bad. He lost some of his charisma. Senusret of Terimu has sent a message offering to provide you with a large donation of stone cut from his land. However, there is a catch. You'll owe him a favor. How generous. We do. wouldn't mind the stone. Who is he? He's a builder. He becomes estranged, but we turn down our donation, I think, is what is actually better right now. So this will give us four orders left. Three orders left. Let's take the legitimacy. Two orders left, and we can fight. Whoa. 
You're gonna have to prioritize claiming this, I think. I think. Just gotta have movement. I'd like to move these workers around. I'm hoping if I move my scout here in peril's way, I'm blocking these guys from getting too close. Because if they claim this site, I'm going to be livid. Okay, the good news is they didn't. The bad news is, oh, that's great. All right, this is our capital. What are we going to build here? Probably... Honestly, horses, so we're going to take horse racing, even though it's going to be a while until we can get those. Now, if we come here, can our scout actually attack? They cannot. Let's bring this unit here. Boom, we got the city site locked in. Now we need to get our scout the F out of dodge. Okay. Now we still have four orders left. We want to build this, no, this, Shrine of Ra for adjacent farms. Cost some stone, but we get a bunch of lumber out of it. The Great Ziggurat, yeah, we don't, we're not going to be able to build that. I would love to. I would love to build the pyramids. It's easier to just feel good, you know? We just don't have the stone, which we actually could buy. That's tempting to build the freaking pyramids already. We would need, uh, how much would a quarry cost us? 20 metal. Like we could just go build those like right here. We're out of orders, but we could buy, should we buy 100, it would cost us a lot of gold. And we could do it in a couple turns. For now let's end the year. Is now a drunk. Ugh, boy, and she's gonna be our new leader. A personal officer and a squad of soldiers march into your court, causing great alarm. You read from the Chris sealed scroll. Your next tribute payment is due. Okay. Refuse. We're not gonna do that forever. Take the free promotion. Heal bloodthirsty. Strike. Settler's not done yet, not gonna be done. So we could build this though, give us culture, plus 20 civics per year, that's not bad actually. What was the, what was the uh, pyramids is gonna give us culture and an order, and then minus 50% law cost. The great ziggurat's gonna give us civics. This is gonna give us all cities get citizens, which is actually even better, but we don't have the lumber. We'd only have to buy. We could we could do the hanging gardens. Plus four culture, plus two victory points. All cities get twenty percent of that citizen growth. Yeah, it's debatable what's going to be better. I think the pyramids would just be cool because we're Egypt. It costs a lot of stone. We bought a hundred of it. We need four more. Okay, and then we could go build the pyramids. Great ziggurat. No, let's build the pyramids. What does it need to be? The pyramids. Plus two victory requires arid or sand. Oh, we don't have air we don't have arid or sand here. We'd have to go way out here. Interesting, interesting. So we could build the great ziggurat. Can't even build the hanging gardens, actually. So let's go build the Great Ziggurat, I guess. Okay. And then that cost a lot of stone. So we're going to need some more quarries pretty soon, big time. Probably right here along this mountain range is going to be the best place for that. We also still have six orders. Let's go harvest this. I'd like to go see what's over here. Yes. This is a scientific discovery. We gained science. 
or gold. Okay, I was hoping we'd get stone out of it. Seashore find. While exploring a remote stretch of seashore, our discover, we discover a curious shell scattered among the shallows. This shell, when ground into a powder, produces a pleasant purple dye that is perfect for fabrics. All right, so we can take the science, which is actually pretty great because we need to discover six technologies. Or we gain triumph. Two triumph. Tri that sucks. Gold, pretty good. Uh, we're going to take the science because it helps us get towards our first ambition. Uh, what was what, what was that just came up? These guys were just going to hang out for a minute. Actually, we're, let's promote first infantry. And then let's move our scout over here. Okay, that's a dead end. That's an island that we, we can get to eventually, but not yet. So now we need to bring our scout back. Your daughter and Prince Consort Rapus have given birth to a son. Scouts have sort of Nubian camp, and therefore frequent means between Nubians and their tribes. An alliance against our expansion may be forming. Send soldiers to end this plot. Gain a warrior. Okay. Earn their trust with a gift. I actually kind of like that. I kind of want to try out being friendly with uh, the with the tribes. I'm gonna try an influence mission. Five years till that's done still. A buyering would be great, I think, in this city. Then we could actually put people onto this once we get a tribal alliance is kind of the goal, I think. We have an idle worker here. I'd like to build a farm. These are just hanging out, I think, because they want war. I'm not going to get it unless they declare it. And if they do, we might be in trouble. Because they would get to shoot first. Your husband converted to Carthinian Paganism. Okay. Now, the Spearman sounds great, but we actually want Spoked Wheel. Oh, that's going to take whew, a while. The only problem with that is it takes a while, right? We also want Forestry, Administration. We get a little faster. If we go Spoked Wheel, it's going to take. 15 years. How old are we? We're not too old yet, but we're about to be pretty old. And that get six technologies which is pretty rough, actually. We might not get this tech. Well, we'd have to get, like, if we could go administration instead. Yeah, I think we have to. Just be, as much as I would like to get chariots and stuff, like, I think we just have to. to Trying to get that first. Um, Ambition. We can also get an ambassador. Plus 15 foreign opinion, plus 30 tribe opinion. That's where we want to, who we want to appoint. Uh, we still don't have this. We all our workers are busy and will be. Okay, more Nubidians. Good to know. Next unit. Uh, we're gonna just say next turn. And we're going to try and put cities on these if we can get a Numidian alliance. I think you can. They became influenced. Let's go. A tribal peace. We'll start with that. Four years till that. Okay. We actually have a worker that needs to be moved, so. We have this shrine around it, the farms do better. So I think we need farms, we also need quarries though, and it, do, building adjacent ones make it cheaper. So we want to try and utilize that. And the year. So Rastridism is kind of a merchant recently returned from Carthage, describes an unusual practice of the Beast of Thapsus. Following the teachings of the prophet Zoroaster, they have started making sacrifices to a god called Ahura Mazda. All right, sounds intriguing. Uh, a 40 opinion minus two legitimacy. There's no interest of Egypt. Refuse to support faith. Now, Zoroastrianism, it could cause issues down the line, but it wouldn't right away. Right, so we're going to say no. 
trade offer. A merchant have arrived from Babylon with an offer of trade. We'll trade iron for science. Okay. We lose some iron, but we fact we'd be losing iron. We need to build a mine. But that's that science is actually kind of a, a blessing with uh, us trying to get this this ambition. So we have to take it and we just have to build some mines to to uh, fix the issue. In fact we completed a farm here. Not really a place to build a mine here. But we'll put a farm in right here. This, you know, we'll just have to put a mine up over here when they can. We'll, put, we'll build it adjacent, so we want to put it right there. And then after that, we'll probably go improve the, uh, the, the cows. They've been harvesting all these things like nuts. Like, save some for the rest of us. Got some culture out of it. That's good. Actually, what am I doing? Fortify. And here. Print an offer promising to steal these to be approved. Yes, let's make a deal. Tribute. Ooh. They don't lose this, but it does mean we have to pay tribute for of science. Science is a little rough right now, but if we get the peace, we get close to a tribal alliance. I think I have to say no for now, but then do it again. Um, and if it's the same deal, we'll have to take it, and that sucks. All right, so we got our, our warrior here. That's good news. We're just going to put him to sleep. And then... We're already, we're still level one actually. Let's get specialists, because they give us science, a stone cutter actually, and a farmer makes the most sense because of our, I think this family's abilities. We want to be pumping out these specialists. Maybe that's what we'll do is after this, we'll put a specialist on the mine. here with two extra orders. We're definitely going to put a cavalry city here. Okay. Completed the quarry. That settler next turn. We're getting close to everything we need to essentially winning the game. Just kidding. We're literally in dead last. Okay. Uh, what do we want to build now? I think we'd actually like to put in a quarry. We'll clear the brush, which gives us a little bit of lumber. Take some extra orders. And all of these city spots have been claimed. It is wild how small this map is. Is that how the maps always were? Like, I, I don't remember making any adjustments before. I just did the normal default, like medium map size. Duchess had tip is now old enough to be tutored by quarters. Oh, okay, so we need our, that's right, we need to do that. Let's view the tech tree. Now, we can't go for those free stuff because we need techs. We're going to grab trapping. It's the lowest cost. We're getting four years. And to enact exploration, actually, we need, right here, we need to mark rhetoric. Now, where right here do we want to settle? gives us the horses. That's not necessarily a necessity. This gives us more of the hills. This gives us more of a balance of it all. Actually, I think we want to settle there. Whoa, that's cool. We crossed the ocean. Okay, now I think we just want to put a specialist on the mine, giving us a lot of iron. It means, okay, let's make a deal. We, okay, lumber. That sucks. Oh man, that's brutal. But I think that is a necessity right now. Because, uh, well, slavery or freedom? Well, we are Egypt, so I'm tempted to pick slavery, but we don't really need all those orders. I think we want science. Our subjects will be free. 
All right, so we need to figure out a way to get more lumber. Um, we've marked forestry. We don't even have polis. Oh boy. We shouldn't have taken that deal. Can I undo it? Clickstruck to undo entire turn. Oh. Okay, so we didn't take the deal. No, offer's not good enough. We can't We can't pay the nine. We'll just have to offer later when we have more stuff. Now we're going to take freedom. Yeah, that's what we have to do. We'll just have to wait to be friendly here. All right. Now we could build another farm for 12. We have a lot of food coming in, which is really nice. We also have it's idle here. We want to get... What do we want to get? Spreads borders, increases science. That's what we want to get. I actually tempted to get a granary right here. Actually, you know what? We want to build the granary right here. No, right there. Let's let's put a farm in, and then this will grow our border. So we're going to get a specialist, and then we'll put a granary right there, and we'll have border. We'll have... It's either that, or we just build farms along the river, and we put granaries along the edges. Hmm, I'm not sure what's better. I'm sure someone could do the math and figure it out, though. Let's harvest the ore. Yes. When the year. Oh, hey, we should have harvested that. Citrus. Truce with Persia. All right, now we're going to settle a city for the riders. It'll be connected. And we can produce cavalry when, when we want to, or when we can. Does this mean we can get there? No, it does not mean that. Hmm. Okay. Now, if we want to take this scout, I think we actually now we want to make another worker here and send that worker down here. And that way, this city, rather than make a worker, we can immediately, I don't even need a warrior, actually. Actually, a worker only takes four years. Let's just make a worker here. And instead, let's cancel this worker. Oh, we're getting old, we're age 60. And yeah, we'll, we'll get a worker here first. Where'd that scout go? We can't go this way. So the only real place to scout is up here. And to claim a bunch of those, we should have claimed that resource. Actually, no, it's in our borders. We don't want to harvest it. We want to improve it. Now we'll end the year. Really wish we had claimed this city. Time pass. Oh, we oh we forgot a tutor. Mmm, that's frustrating. All right, she's gonna study philosophy, and we also are gonna go to that. Her, the eldest, influence. No, how old is he? Eight, twelve. She should still be able to be tutored. Maybe we don't have anyone who can. So we have two units here, there's a Babylon, we have one up here. Probably could use another one up here, but... Look at our worker, we could do another quarry. Wouldn't hurt, cost some iron. Could do a mine over here, which is not bad either. I think I'm gonna build the quarry. Take this unit, let's go right here and harvest the wheat. Go right there. It's in the year. The early game is intense. Also, hold on. City site. Is that unclaimed? Let's view here. Okay, now we definitely want polis. And that moves us towards forestry. We need two more techs. Okay, so they've actually... Assyria took that. Maybe we should have waited there. A war demand. A missionary approach arrives on horseback. Escorting team by the finest person who carries a message. How, is it willing to avoid Congo only if we pay tribute? Yes, very well. We'll send the money. 
We will assist you in your research. No, never. Um, we're going to just send them money. I would like to just be like, nah. But they do have armies here, and we don't. Not until we get our, our cavalry, will we have a significant advantage. Then maybe we would want more. With mathematics, great. So she's doing good. Engineers are in short supply. Becomes engineer. Carpenters. New siege units. This is siege ship. She's better as a general. I'd rather increase her wisdom. We have five orders left. Right now is the explorer. I like that. Then we completed a farmer. So right now, yeah, I don't know. Do we want a granary there? I think we actually might want to put a granary like right here and then right here. Yeah, it probably makes the most sense. And then a granary like right here. Yep. That's what we're going to do. So in the meantime, let's put a specialist on that. In the year. Now making so many cities, you can get a lot more specialists. Your doctor, okay, so we're going to die. But hey, before we die, we got the great ziggurat. Dedicate the shrine to love. Gain the ziggurat love shrine. Minus one discontent per year. Okay, dedicate the shrine to wisdom. Plus 10% culture, 10% science to war. 10% orders. Oh, that's good. We're going to take wisdom, though. All right. Now this is going to say for adjacent grove, we'd actually rather build that right there. Let's go build, either we want a mine or we want quarries. Our mine is actually positive. Let's go build this pasture. Now what to focus on here in the capital, a miner was completed. We could get a farmer, we could do a rancher. Let's do the rancher, it's gonna give us more orders. Now I think we want to put a farm here. And then we can put a farm there to grab borders here, and then we can put a granary here, and a granary here, and a granary there. I think that's the goal. Sneaky scout. Okay. Our, okay, we've encountered Rome. Invite the travelers to settle in Egypt, gain a farmer. Our troops encounter a group of traveling artisans. They say that their nation of Rome has already established a great civilization in distant lands, but they wish to see the world. Tell them, take them captive. They, Rome will hate us, but we gain a hundred science. Oh, that's tempting. Because Rome is on the other side of Assyria. It has to be. Ooh, yeah, that's... Basically, we get this tech for free. I mean, I think we get this ambition no matter what. Or we gain a farmer. Becomes vigilant as leader. All cities gain 20% city defense. Well, she's going to die, so it doesn't matter. Take them captive and get 100 science out of them. Oh, man. That's aggressive. That's three turns, essentially, that it speeds up. But we're going to have 20 turns, I think, to enact this ambition. And it becomes a legacy. So I'm going to say gain the farmer. We gain a specialist, which gives us more science. And where's that farmer now? Located, I think, right here, right here. I'm not sure. Oh, actually, no, it was right here. Put the farmer right there. That's great, actually. I wonder if they're at war. In the year. We're probably gonna need some more military. If I'm being honest, they have a lot of units. All right, so. Persians are upset. The immortality of writers. Man perishes and turns to dust as relatives to, to return to the earth. So says the wisdom literature shown, known as the immortality of writers. The text talks, okay. Um, is an awe after reading the text that we can all our time to writing them thought. Only our glory lasts forever. She means courage. Wisdom will serve you well. I have her focus on science, I think, as much as we can. You know what? We're getting a rancher. I think we should actually get a slave warrior. Inquiry on completion 80 science. Oh, we should have done that like 15 times. We're still alive though, so we're not we don't need it yet. So 
so we could have done this and then just gotten the six techs easy peasy. I think I want to grab a, a warrior. No, let's get a slinger. Before the rancher real fast. We need to have a unit in every city. For one, it helps, it'll help with discontent in the future. But also, what you doing here, Babylon? Alright, so what we completed a worker. Before we do anything else, let's grab our worker. This is a worker that we have selected. Now this would give us camps, that's not gonna help. This would give us orders, this would give us iron. A farm here is good. We need a grove. Let's go improve the horses. Here we go. That's boosted this a lot, which is great. We just continue to build a bunch of quarries over here. The problem is we are struggling for lumber right now. Construction only costs six stone iron. That's cheap. We could go over here and build a granary. That's going to cost wood, right? Yeah, we need lumber. Hmm. I could cut down these trees, but that's not much, not great. Adjacent grove, that sucks. Adjacent camps, yeah, let's build a quarry. Okay. Cool. Now, what did we complete here? Um, something we got the stone, right? The stone guy, I think. Ooh, let's put an uh, apprentice acolyte. Let's get the uh, science and culture up. I want to grab these two. Here, oh, we could get more of these guys. A slinger's not a bad idea. Let's grab treasury, though. It's been a pretty crazy start. Our now legacies. You have 20 years left to enact expiration. All right, we died. We want our legacy. Long live Queen of Fury the New. Um, if we look at our kids, we need a new ambassador. Take this guy's 29. Oh, this, this guy's nice old, though. Hmm, neither of these guys are great ambassadors, but I guess we'll take him. Taking the crown, an enormous festival, festival two. Initiate yourself in a mystery colging inquiry. Conduct a traditional ceremony plus 60 culture. Ooh, that's an interesting question. Initiate yourself in a mystery colging inquiry, giving us 80 science. Since we get open unlock in our next tech, ensuring. I think I'm going to do that. Now we advance, and now we can gain rhetoric, which will help us enact exploration. We'll get that in two years. We're not going to have the civics for it in two years, though. But we'll have it before the uh, time limits cancel trade. We have to rise with a stern warning from our Shabbatopol. He says, please our ongoing trade with Carthage. They're, hate, they're hated enemy. They demand that we cease all transfer of goods and services immediately. Are we told what to do? Stop trading with Carthage. Yikes. Okay, so if we take a look here, Carthage is equal. We are surrounded by Assyria, right? So we want to be on their good side, not necessarily Carthage's. Okay, the air. You still can't be tutored. Maybe we have to unlock something, I don't remember. Um, let's choose these. 10 unit promotions, desired by the riders. Produce 800 food, that's definitely what we're taking. Six urban improvements, that's actually not hard either. Like that just means we get this is an urban improvement. We can start building our hamlets. Either one of those is really easy. Um, which family hates us the most? Okay, so we will stop trading with Carthage. We want to be on a serious good side. 
If we go to war with them, it's going to be tough. He will study tactics, I think. Judge, scholar, diplomat. We could take a diplomat, actually. That could be good. Okay, 10 promotions. Eh, we could do it, but it's not. 800 food, pretty easy. Six urban improvements, also pretty easy. But 800 food is like, we don't even have to worry about it. Let's see. The, and the landowners are the ones that are struggling to like us. So let's do that. Let's look at our scouts here. Oh, yeah. We'll claim that. We'll harvest the wheat. Okay, get some legitimacy, no problem. Okay. So yeah, we're in this like bottom corner, which we kind of have to solidify, build up our cities, and then we really need to find a way to be friendly here with the Numidians. Let's do one more turn and potentially settle these cities. We're gonna need to get a boat here actually pretty soon. We just don't have the lumber. Could have done it earlier. Rome is now at truce. Babylon fears war on Persia. Good, yeah, you all go to war with each other. Part of the studies is rhetoric, has been reading wisdom literature. The debate between man and his soul gains wisdom, gains discipline, gains charisma. Let's take let's take charisma on him. Right, we would yeah, we would take it, it would cost too much. We could use gold though, but oh my goodness gracious. Why does it everything cost so much? Because of our specialists, maybe? Maintenance, it's gotta be because of the specialists. It's gotta be. Uh, that's a problem. Do specialists cost money? I didn't think so. I didn't think that they had maintenance cost. All right, so wall is now probably what we need to get in a lot of these cities. As well as uh, the unit made by each one, which this city does not have that. So we're going to pump out a slinger and then walls. We can upgrade our leader. Neferur is you. Wisdom, global plus two science. Charisma gives us civics. Courage gives us training. Let's take charisma. Now with that, with rhetoric comes next turn we can get epic. Or exploration, right? We want exploration. Um, I actually want to quickly go until we, let's see, we will need maybe two more quick turns. Actually, I want to enact that before. Let's see, we could build a farm here. It's going to cost, we don't have the trees. If we go build a hamlet here, we don't have the stone. We can go build a mine, a quarry. That's what we have to do. All right, again, we need more lumber. I like to build some granaries and stuff around here. Hamlets actually make the most sense, but again, we don't have the stone yet. And so I think we need to come over here. To build more stone or more quarries. In the air. I'm gonna pump out a couple turns quick here. Trying to enact to nab these two legacies. Well this legacy. Got our six techs. Rome declares we're on Assyria. Beautiful. Oh, a free settler. And normally I would always take that. The only issue. The only issue. So I would. Mm, it's two. It's two years of investment. It's it's too worth it. I'd love this. I'd love this. But if we take that free settler. Yeah, they're just gonna hang out here for a while, until we can get over here. But, it's so cheap. It costs us nothing. All right, now if we go to here, we want exploration. It costs 400 civics. So we have to wait one more turn to do that. With the pros of your daughter. How are we doing with Babylon? Yeah, do okay. The schemer, the witty. Our families are semi friendly. I'd say not at this time. Philosopher studies, she's getting older, good. She's 18. How should she go to the court? A judge, a wise advocate for the people. 
builder. Let's take mm, multiple workers can build improvements. Minus one year to build improvements. Governor or Chancellor. We will get Chancellor eventually. Both of them can serve as Chancellor though. Every specialist with money, that's pretty good. Let's take Judge. Influence mission, I see profit in providing lands with Duke Thutmos. For free. Yeah, for free. If it's free, do it. All right, we got our horses online. Um, I want us to come build this right here, which is actually another really good place for that. A farm here is not bad. Let's go build this. Adjacent camps, let's go build this hamlet. I'd like to build the hamlet here as well, but we don't have the, the stone. We could buy some stone though. And then build the hamlet right here, plus 10. Hmm, because the city's not connected. I'd like to actually build it right here. Because it'll get all the way out to there. We have one order left. Because of that, I'm actually not gonna, ooh, hold on, who shot you? Oh, no, he's been hurt, that's right. That's the edge. We're gonna just gonna say, uh, let's see, yeah, let's go explore here, and then we'll say uh, deer. Let's think about saving the gold, saving an order to get, have gold carry over. Hey, we moved up. We got six points. Thanks to the great Ziggurat. It's probably debatable if it's smart to build those. Ooh, they're building the pyramids. An unexpected personal connection have opened up for a different channel, a direction to the leaders of Persia or Rome. We're gonna take Persia. Wait, hold on. So we get, they get 40 culture, or we send them a bunch of iron. Not, not right now. We'll just take the experience. It's, all right, let's go grab exploration. Hold on, let's double check this. Enact exploration, yes. So we're gonna pass this on, yes. Okay. Let's file legitimacy. And also, what does exploration actually give us? No shooting exception on that side, but that's great. Scouts move on water. Okay, beautiful. Let's take our scout. And immediately start pushing them this way to get to the water. So we can go see what's over here on these islands. And then before we move anywhere else, it's whoever this is. Oh, also, actually, let's take a look at our. They're all, you know, can't tutor, can we tutor him? No. Okay, um, the young master. Withdrawing from much of the school estate lectures, Duke III focuses intensely on the studies of rhetoric, ethnics, and debate. He has developed a small following of loyal devotees who record his teachings. Here to spread these teachings to the people. And quest the court of Corbett's lessons. Let's take the uh, 60 culture, that's really good. The heir, she insists on marrying in the middle of the cunning of Assyria. However, his, his parent could trouble our friend in Carthage and had a last political What shall we do? Send the heir away. She will forget him in time. He marries this guy. Schemer, cunning is wise. Yeah, let's take it. It'll only help us yeah, be friendlier with Assyria, who's our neighbor. Heard you with a following recent achievement. My lady, the site family applauds your recent expiration at edict. One can but imagine the endless wonders that await. Okay, great. Your passion inspires me. Let us go forth to the unknown. We reveal 40% of the map. That's pretty easy. And we gain a scout. And we spend some food, gold and food though. I found these sounds crowded, let's give room to expand. Clear seven tribal sites. Uh, we don't have really any place. This is a fine idea. It becomes exploring. Let's take this, reveal 40% of the map. Now we have seven orders, let's start exploring the map. All right, so now we have another scout here. And I take it back, this scout is gonna continue to explore up here. This scout, on the other hand, is going right there. Okay, now with that, I gotta wrap up this episode. We're gonna get a free settler soon, so we want to see if we can become friendly here. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Maybe we could influence her. I think we need orders, so we have to do that next turn. It also costs a lot of gold, but. 
Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been a fun start. It's definitely going to be a different style compared to the previous series if you watch those. And again, there's only the hardest difficulty we've played yet. It's the second to the hardest one. We'll see how it goes. See if we can get the win. We only have three cities, which is going to make us winning a little hard. But you can win, I think, almost no matter how many cities you have. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the share button. Regardless, though, thanks for being here. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next episode.